Yeah, that's a first here on the JSF. A little rock and roll trivia. And now for the tie-in. If you're like me and you grew up with MTV in the 1980s, you know, when they used to play videos, I'm sure you remember Springsteen's Glory Days video where the boss is throwing the baseball against the barn. Well, our next story has a similar theme, only it's not about the past, it's about the present and the future. It is about a Jersey rocker, Pat Denizio, lead singer and creator of the Smithereens, who's discovered the fountain of youth in America's pastime. That was Pat Denizio then. And this is Pat Denizio now. He first gained fame in the 1980s as a writer and lead vocalist for the New Jersey based rock band The Smithereens. I grew up in a small town right here in Jersey, a town called Scotch Plains, and it's where I continue to live. I've spent most of my life. I'm a, as pure a product of New Jersey as you can get. Like 20 years later, at age 50, Denizio's still touring the country, both solo and with the Smithereens. But these days, you'll also catch Pat Denizio not with a guitar in hand, but a wooden bat. So you have no problem today hitting a 95 mile an hour fastball? I can, I can hit, yeah. You can I'm make contact. I can make contact, yeah. I'm not saying what kind of contact, but I, <laughs> I'm not with him. That's because striking out is not an option for Denizio. His journey from the stage to the batter's box was a difficult one that started a little more than a year ago out of necessity. I always wanted to make a movie and be a film director. I had the opportunity to direct a low budget movie just from an idea that I had. I received a call from the producer on a Thursday, and he said, I like your movie idea. He goes, I got the money to do it. He goes, but you got to assemble a crew and a cast and start on Monday. With no formal script and little more than a pad with some notes, Denizio felt it was an offer he couldn't refuse. But the hectic pace associated with the endless days of filming soon took its toll. But toward the end of it, I had some sort of breakdown from the stress, and I broke out in hives. And it was like huge welts covering my entire body. Rushed to the emergency room, cut my breathing off. They had to, they had to give me shots, me medicine. They put me on prednisone, this very powerful steroid. And it kept coming back, it kept coming back. And I was rushed into emergency rooms, you know, in Nashville and Chicago. Couldn't breathe, just, you know, really scares you. If not for the medication, Denizio admits he might not have survived. The thing is, this, this prednisone stuff or this steroid is a bit of a miracle drug, except there's always a price to pay. The side effects are very debilitating. In my case, it ballooned my weight up to like 340 pounds from someone who was of a fairly average weight. And it got to the point where I was in such pain all the time, I could hardly walk, I could hardly lift my arms up, I couldn't clench with my right fist. Down, but far from out, Denizio knew he had to do something. I needed to find a way to take my life back and do something that, in addition to helping me get my health back, was also fun and something where I could live out an unfulfilled childhood dream. And, the ball's and I'm sitting on the couch, I'm watching baseball, and I'm watching guys for the Yankees, lazy professional ball players letting balls drop in when they could have been a little more aggressive. And I said, man, if I had the chance to play again, to get my health back again, I'd, I'd, I'd give almost anything. And something clicked in my mind. I said, I want to play baseball again. I finally got to the point where I started feeling good. I got a baseball bat, a heavy bat, 100 ounce bat, and I started swinging it. I started working out. I started weaning myself off the, um, the medication, the steroid. His next step was to install a batting cage in his backyard. After spending a year in the batting cage in the most extreme weather conditions from 9 degree cold and snow to 95 degree weather in the summer, I found that it's probably easier to hit a 95 mile an hour fastball than it is to write a hit song, based on my experience. It's How can you say that? I can say it from experience, because now I've done both. I got in the batting cage, and I took my swings. I did everything possible that you could do 
to learn to hit a baseball. Everything, including getting advice from some of the greatest hitters of all time, like Cal Ripken Jr. and Don here. Mattingly. The cave down here, this is the cave. Denizio's new American tour took him from the belly of Yankee Stadium to the heart of Somerset County. You got one left. Toss a coin. And open tryouts for the Somerset Patriots. See, these double as canes when I'm not swinging. The, the tryouts were daunting. I mean, you had like 300 guys there from all over the place. Some people flew in from all over the country. And obviously, I've got no business being there. I'm a rock and roller. You know, these guys are dedicating their life to this stuff, but maybe, just maybe, I could get a hold of one. Where would you be today without baseball? Baseball got me off the couch. You know, baseball helped me get my health back. It was a dream. It was always the dream of all of us kids growing up. Do you feel like a kid again? I never stopped feeling like a kid, but everyone needs motivation to get something done. You take your inspiration from wherever you can find it. As for his health, the hives are going. I lost about 80 pounds. I can ride my bike again. I can hit. I could never throw. I can't say that I could throw. <laughs> uh, like a concert tour, Pat's journey had many stops and even more lessons. Never quit. Never give up on your dreams. Whether I make the team or not, whether I get my at bat or not, it's really about the journey. It's about what I learn and how I evolve and keep growing as a human being. And, and what I've learned through the journey. That's, that's the real story. Thank you very much. Yeah, did he or didn't he become the world's oldest DH? He wouldn't even tell us. All Pat would say was, you have to watch my special on ESPN2 this Wednesday at 10 p.m., seventh inning stretch. And if that's not enough, hey, Go to his website, patdenizio.com. And that is a wrap on the JSF, everyone. My thanks to Pat for sharing his inspirational story. And if you'll excuse me, I'm going to hit in the batting cage myself. For all of us here on the JSF, thanks for watching.